Welcome to the Todd and Deborah Show, episode 30. Today we're talking about something very dear to our hearts, but it wasn't always. Even just the thought of this used to make me nauseous and scared. I never gave much thought to the idea of donating blood before I tried it, but it, it's really a great way to help others. It doesn't cost you anything, but the gift you give is literally life-saving. First time I ever donated blood was years ago when I was co-hosting a radio morning show and my station sent me out to broadcast live as a blood donor to help listeners learn how easy it is so they might donate too. Things were going great until right after I gave blood, I was going to head over to the snack table and that part of the broadcast went like this. Well, I'm all done and now I'm heading over to the... I fainted and hit the floor. Totally my fault. I hadn't followed the directions to be hydrated and well-fed that morning. Thank goodness our brave listeners weren't deterred by my dumbness, and they came out to donate anyway. But the best thing is that despite that silly fainting stunt, I became hooked on the idea of donating blood. And later I told Todd about it and got him hooked too. So we found a brand new place to donate blood. We didn't know about this one before. It's literally just a few blocks from our home, so we can walk. And what do you wear when you donate blood? Casual clothes, whatever's comfortable. Make sure that you have loose-fitting uh, t-shirt or jacket or whatever so they can easily draw the blood. Let's go in and check this place out. So we're here ready to donate blood. So are you all set for I'm this? I'm ready. Yeah. Um, sort of old timers at this, though. So. That's true. We've done it a time or two, I guess. Yeah. 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 So which arm are you going to go for, do you My think? My right one. Is that always the best? Always the best for me. All right. What would you say to somebody who's been contemplating donating blood, but they're a little nervous about it? Not to be nervous. There's nothing. I mean, these people are really good at what they do. They know how to take care of you. They got a lot of nurses and registered people to assist you. And everybody's very supportive. So if you've never done it once, it's just come and try it. You'll have a good time. You'll like it, you right? Good snacks. Try it. You'll like it. Oh, and I'm sorry. You mentioned the most important part, good the snacks. snacks. Yeah. Okay. All this info is more detailed on the redcrossblood.org website. So be sure to check that out. But here are some important points. Prepare ahead of time. Hydrate. Drink plenty plenty of fluids. You should be doing that every day anyway, but especially the day before and day of your blood donation and eat a good healthy meal before your donation too. Rewatch that little animation I made of how my first donation turned out to remind you just how important hydrating and eating well ahead of time really are. Oh, avoid fatty foods, by the way, like hamburgers, fries, ice cream, because those can affect the tests they have to do on your blood. And if there's too much fat in your blood, your donation can't be tested for infectious diseases and the blood can't be used for transfusion. On the day of your donation, first of all, bring a list of medications you're taking. They need to know any prescription and or over-the-counter medications that may be in your system. Also, bring your ID, either your donor card, driver's license, or two other forms of ID. The donation itself is only like 8 to 10 minutes, but there are some steps that have to be included each time. Step 1 is registration, signing in, showing your ID, reviewing eligibility. Step 2, they're going to review your health history with you and give you a mini physical, too. You'll answer some questions to ensure that you're eligible, and then you'll have your temperature taken, pulse, blood pressure, and your iron level checked. Step three, the donation itself. They'll cleanse an area on your arm and insert a brand new sterile needle. It'll be a quick pinch over in seconds, just like when you have blood drawn for a physical at the doctor, you know. Hey, see, you're going crazy. So far, still alive. Well, there's Deborah's blood. Oh, you get a shot of my blood? Yeah, Does that's it your look blood. Like regular blood and everything, not vampire no, blood or anything? No, no, it looks pretty bad. Good. Oh, bad? Why is it bad? I'm just joking. Oh, he's joking, okay. Yeah. yeah, see, there you go. There's your blood. And usually you can squeeze this thing like that. Now you're rolling it today. Okay. Yeah. That's that enough? That's all we really have to do, right? I yeah. mean, they do the rest. All we have to do is just squeeze squeeze the blood out of us. Yeah, you just lay, and lay there and it does it all by itself. It does. It must be sort of a natural thing, you know? For, for us to bleed? I know. I guess. If you have an open yeah. place on your body, you might bleed. Yeah. That's like then they put a nice big red bandage on in the end. There you go. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm all done. Wow. Once a pint of blood is collected, you're done. They'll take out the needle, put a bandage on your arm, give you instructions on how long you leave that on, etc. Then, step four is very important. Okay, the buffet is ready for okay, you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. See you, you were next great. time. Thank you. Head to the refreshments area. You definitely should go there and have something to drink and something to eat. Just relax for a few minutes. After uh, 10 to 15 minutes, you can head out and continue your normal activities. But knowing that you help save lives. And just saying that just now, I got goosebumps. 
This is such a fantastic way to be able to help others. Yay you for doing this. Cheryl is amazing. I got to tell you guys, every time we do a blood drive, we meet exceptional people. Think oh, about the work you. that they do. No, how cool is that? What if your job was just daily saving I know. lives, right? I know. I'm so glad to be able to meet people like you. I mean, we set it up, but you guys are really the ones getting your arms out there and saving lives with your blood. So, Thank you, know, you Deborah. And see, really that's the thing. Geezer blood it's is easy. okay, right? Because <laughs> some of my friends have said, oh no, we're too old. Well, they don't want our blood. But you're not a user. You're a uh, superhero. That's what we call all of our donors because they're saving lives. So you're someone superhero out there. So Yay. they may not thank you, but we thank you on behalf of us, thanking you for taking the time out of your schedule and coming out here and offering your blood and helping out, helping save lives to those that may never get a chance to see you, but you are helping them out. So oh, thank you. What a great point. And guys, we're retired. We've got the time to do it. I know. Check around your neighborhood. It's really, really awesome. That's Definitely. right. You can go to our website, redcrossblood.org. Type in your zip code and you will see all the blood drives that are in your area that are open to the public for you to go to. How simple is that?